Hey guys, Epicenter Brian here. Hey, uh, today my buddy Jason is here and we're going to be making a little item in the pressure cooker that we're going to freeze dry. So today we're going to be making uh, sort of a Thai curry beef with vegetables and there's one item that I could not find in town and Jason came up with a substitute. NomNomPaleo.com recommended a coconut amino sauce which is hard to source locally so instead I grabbed some Bragg's liquid aminos which is a vegetable protein sauce that's made to substitute for soy sauce and related products like that. First up we have two teaspoons of salt and um, a half a teaspoon of pepper, ground pepper that Jason's going to be adding to the meat here. And uh, just mix that up really well. Next is the curry roux that's going in at two tablespoons, I believe it was. Then we have a that's a fish sauce. Tablespoon of fish sauce. That's Red Boat brand. Two tablespoons of Bragg's. And that's your mystery substitution there. And apple cider. Yes. And that was one tablespoon? That was two. Two tablespoons. And then your uh, coconut. Yeah. How's that look? Well, not bad. Three pounds of stew beef that we seasoned up with the salt and pepper going in. And next we have one large onion, all chopped up. Beautiful. Uh, who that chopped that bit. onion? Uh, I believe it was you. <laughs> Jason, you're spending a lot of time mixing this. What's up? Uh, when cooking in a pressure cooker or a steamer, things of that nature, I like to try and get everything evenly coated as possible before starting the cooker because it doesn't always work its way in while it's cooking. So if you have chunks of meat that are stuck together from being just dumped in, they won't be evenly seasoned. Some of them will have a very potent flavor and some of them will be, more, you know, more bland. So you are questioning my onion selection. What do you think I bought? I don't know. Uh, the onion you showed me is labeled Vidalia. I'm trying to see if this is a yellow flat onion or if this is a sweet onion. It'll change the flavor and the texture of the food. Oh, okay. So let's find out. Jason is a foodie. That's a sweet onion. Okay. Is that bad? No, it actually helps with the flavor. Okay. Everybody's preference is different, but I tend to go for the sweet onions. It's like watching paint dry. And start. Yes, siree. There we go. All now right. let's see how this turns out. Yum. Oh, by the way, we have vegetables and potatoes going in at the very end when the meat is done and it's tender. And then we're going to end up thickening up the sauce with some country gravy mix. Um, Jenny is going to hate this because of the gravy, but it has to be done. Trust me. Let the gremlins out. Ooh. That looks yummy. There we go. Now, all right. Let's get in here again and get this. All. That's hot. Because, of course, it just came out. But, let's see. You gonna try it? Yep. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Done? Yeah. Is that chewy, or is it okay? Uh, if you have a spoon handy, this right here. Okay. And if you don't have a spoon handy. Oh, okay. Very good. Just pulls Beautiful. apart. Beautiful. Okay. You're happy with that. That turned out well. Okay. Great. You're going to add the veggies. Get the vegetables in. And we also have potatoes. 
Now we cut these up a lot smaller so that they would freeze dry. And again, it all makes skin good and proper. Okay, we have had our two minutes of pressure. Everything is off now and yum! Look at that. It's all steamy. Oh yeah. As it should be. Now, let's give this a quick turn. The part we're most concerned with is going to be the potatoes. The vegetables, you can see they're nice and relaxed, but they're not falling apart. That's how you want it. We're letting it cool down, but we're also going to check the carrot. Those are nice and thick, so we want to see if it's uh, if it's gotten enough pressure to actually make it soft but not mushy. Which it has. Mushy nope. or soft? Hot, soft, but still crisp. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. And the potato. Still hot. Mm. What do you think? That potato? Yeah. Practically melts when you bite into it. Oh, beautiful. But it's not mush. It doesn't fall apart when you try to touch it. I think oh, two minutes, God. two minutes was the right call. Okay. I was going for three. That was a little much. Two minutes is good on that. This spoon right here. Yeah. Uh, this is a smaller spoon, so yeah. we're going to do about half. That is about all you need to thicken this up just enough if you're going to do it at the point that it's finished cooking. Curry is always better the day after it's been made. You give it a full day to sit, everything soaks in, everything gets thicker, and the flavors all mix perfectly. But for right now, we'll do it as it is. Now, you hand me that camera, okay. and you give it a go, brother. All right. Wow. Mmm. 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 Translation, the beef is thick but tender, and the curry, soft but spicy. It tingles the lips, but doesn't burn the tongue. <laughs> I don't know what that means other than, this is damn good. Wow. Okay, so Jenny, you're going to try my beef curry. Yeah. It's coconutty. Yes. Okay. Little boy. It's got a little heat to it. A little heat? Too much heat? No, it's uh, not yet. I only <laughs> took one bite of carrot. Try a piece of beef. See if that is tender enough. The beef is very tender. Would this be considered like Indian, Middle Eastern? Indian probably is as close as it's going to get. <laughs> it's interesting. To be honest, I don't think I've ever had curry before. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It's green curry. In general. Because, um, yeah, green, red, and yellow curry. There's the three different kinds. Oh. And they all have different heat levels and different, kind of a, a little bit different flavor profiles, too. This is very interesting. It's very coconutty. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh yeah, it's got some heat. It does have some but heat. it's but it's not over the top. No, it's it's green curry heat. Okay, so it's, do you think that the green curry should be toned down a little bit? It's got two tablespoons in that entire batch. You know, we could drop it down to one and a half. I don't mind curry. I think it's good. Jenny's still thinking. Mm -hmm. 
The heat is okay. I'm dealing with the heat. I just think it's weird to smell coconut when I'm eating my beef. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not bad. Like, he's getting a whiff of coconut. And I didn't expect to be on a beach and somebody putting on suntan lotion or um, eating a coconut cream pie. Coconut. This is kind of <laughs> odd, isn't it? For the first time trying it, it's good. But you're kind of digging it. I can see you're, you're yep. working your way to the bottom of the bowl there. Yeah, the that's... sauce is thin enough that I wouldn't consider it gravy. Okay. And is it thick enough that we don't need to thicken this at all? I don't think so. Okay. That's fine. I, don't, okay. I don't think you need to thicken it at all. I think it, if you tried to thicken it and we're going to put it in the freeze dryer, I think it would be... Globby, kind of? Yeah, and yeah. I think it would take... The, the rehydration process might take... Be, I, I think it's good the way it is. Okay, and we're going to find out because I already did uh, the thickening on one batch that's in the freezer. Uh, but the rest of this is uh, going to stay as is. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll try it out when it comes out of the freeze dryer. You're going to have none when we cake because you would. Whew. Oh, yeah. There, there's definitely Hold got on. some heat. It's, it's got some heat. Well, it's been four months, and today we're going to try the beef curry that uh, Jason and I made and freeze dried. And I'm going to send half of this over to his house uh, so he can have it for lunch. And today we're going to have the other half for lunch. So let's open this up and see how it goes. Oh, did you hear that little vacuum action? That's from the oxygen absorber. Uh, binding all the oxygen in the can and it makes a small amount of vacuum. So anyway, this is what it looks like since I didn't take any photos. And here we are. Got oxygen absorbers in there. Okay. All right. Well, I'll get this ready to go and let's try it out. Since we usually have some problem with the meat reconstituting fully, what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the pot, add some water, and then we're going to bring it up to temperature and kind of let it hang out and simmer for a half an hour. So that's the way we're going to do it today, and that's how much we're going to be using. And uh, just pop that on in there. And I'm going to start with some water, and we'll just kind of have to play with how much water to to put in. This is great. I, I know this is going to be good. I love Thai food. I love broccoli. And you got a big chunk. Here. Oh, and I love coconut. Oh, this is going to be so good. I know it. <laughs> I don't even know what to start with. The broccoli. Mmm. Oh my god, this is good. Wow. Mmm. Good texture on the broccoli. I think some people might think that the texture on the broccoli is a little soft. But I'm from the Midwest, where they just cook everything down into green paste. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had a piece of meat yet? Meat right now? Oh, wow. This really went well. This is more than just a victory. This is a total victory. Yes! <laughs> it has some heat, um, but uh, it's the flavor makes the heat just right, and heat makes the flavor just right. It's a little spicy. It's good spicy. All right. Not too much heat for you, though. <laughs> okay. And you? So this is a curry? Yeah, this is a beef curry vegetable um, that Jason and I made. Four months ago, so we're trying it out. Okay. Smells good. I like curry. Mmm. What'd you just have? Meat. Ah. Did it rehydrate okay? Mm-hmm. Excellent. What do you think of the heat level? You probably need more heat, huh? <laughs> yeah. It's not super, super spicy. Um, the flavor is good. The meat rehydrated really well. Um, so because the meat did, I assumed that everything else did as well, because meat's the hardest thing to rehydrate. 
Um, yeah. This is good. It tastes like, you know, fresh curry soup type stuff. It's good. I like it. I'm hungry. I'm going to eat this in peace now. Thumbs up. It's super coconutty. Yes, it is super coconutty, if I remember. We already know Jenny's not a fan of this, and that's why she's got I a very got small a... serving. Yes. See? Very small serving. Coconut only belongs with shrimp or in a pie. Beef and coconut <laughs> just don't work for me. And it's coconutty. But I like broccoli, so we'll try some coconutty broccoli. A broccoli reconstituted. We'll try the potato. Yeah, no, that's a big piece of potato, so I am kind of curious how that, how that's all working out. Interesting. Is there something wrong with the texture? No. The it would still had the skin on it. So as it rehydrated, the skin didn't really absorb that much back in, and the potato, actual potato part, was kind of overhydrated. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't mushy. It wasn't like when we did the tomatoes. So I'm going to try a piece of meat. And that rehydrated well. All right. Did you just have meat? Just had a meat. I like the sauce. Mm -hmm. um, the meat seems not seasoned enough, but I'm not a curry beef fan. I like curry chicken. I, that's just my thing. Um, I prefer chicken in my curry. Um, so is there... Like broccoli in here? Yes. You should have some. Do you need a broccoli piece? We can get you broccoli if you didn't get any. I like it. It's not as good as my Thai curry. But there's a broccoli piece. Um, <laughs> if I was... Um, if I didn't have any food in the, in the shelf, I'd certainly eat this without hesitation. Um... I think everything rehydrated very well. <laughs> I just like chicken better than beef, that's all. I would just eat this without hesitation. I like it. I think it's good. I'm almost done. I just had a little half bowl, so I'm planning on seconds. Um, not just because I'm hungry. The flavor is really good. Um, and I do like the meat. I do... My mom is right that the meat itself is not, you know, seasoned all the way through, it feels like, but it's such big chunks, and the broth is so flavorful, I don't think it needs to be. Remains before someone else claims it. There's not much left. All right. Awesome. Thanks. It looks like that was a success for the Epicenter.com. I'm Epicenter Brian, signing out.